Now listen, folks, I, I feel like we talked about this uh, a number of times before, ever since like season three. Well, ever since uh, the end of season three to where we are now. But at some point, Karen is going to have to go on maternity leave. And Lord have mercy. Pam is not the person to have in charge. I talked about this before. I have. But I really think Karen, who has made a number of poor business decisions, leaving Pam in charge is a huge mistake. Now, I've already said I have no doubt in my mind that if Roots to Riches continues to expand and grow, Pam might actually leave the salon prior to the maternity leave situation. But I feel like at this point, especially with the recent credit card situation where the insurance wasn't paid on time, and that's most likely due to Pam screwing up the finances, Karen needs to either let her go officially and permanently suspend Pam's access to the usage of the company funds, especially if the funds are pertaining to Roots to Riches, rather than Pam utilizing it for salon stuff. I feel like um, Karen, any disaster that comes her way, if she opts to leave Pam in charge of the company while she's out for however long, it's on her. And I mean, not only is she still trying to financially recover from losing her first salon, but to actually be in a position where she chooses to put Pam in charge, despite everything that's happened up to this point, will be a huge mistake. And not only due to Pam's negligence and whatnot, I mean, back when uh she was put on like, you know, the doctor told her after she bled out that one season and she was like, you know, said to stay off her feet for a few days and whatnot until she got the doctor's bill, you know, clean bill of health. Pam was left in charge. And she was rushing to get out of the uh, the salon every single night because she had a man waiting for her or whatever. Sometimes the man would be up in the salon with her and she would just do a half-assed job making sure all the stations were cut off. And then from there, oh, this, oh man, these curlers were left on. Whoo, that would have been my ass if Karen would have found out. And then the other t night when, you know, the fire actually happened, but then it turned out that um, I don't believe, no, it was that homeless person in the alley behind the salon. So it's just one of those things where I think it's even worse now because Pam, even while she's on the job with Karen, she's focusing more on roots to riches than her job with Karen. And now with the trade factor involved, she's got this man, she's got her business. So I do feel like Pam would definitely be the worst person to leave in charge because if she's not fully committed to her job while Karen's there, how do you think it's going to go down when Karen isn't there? That's all I'm saying. And I mean, she's freaking up the company money while Karen's there. Imagine Karen not being at the salon and how reckless Pam will be at the money uh, with the money. Like imagine, here's what I think. Imagine if Roots to Riches gets to the level where it's like, you know, Pam, we need, look, we want to put your product in stores, but you know, that's going to be like an extra $3,000. Like okay, if you have $3,000 to buy enough product and, you know, advertising, then that money is going to quadruple itself. And then if Pam doesn't have enough money on her own via her loan from the bank or her own personal finances, oh, I could just use the uh, Karen salon business card and then spend the money. But then she won't make the return for like a couple of months. So, you know, that's over half. Well, I don't know. That's a huge chunk of Karen's business card that's uh, already used up. And you never know what sort of emergency might happen at the salon. And then she's screwed. So I think Karen definitely needs to reevaluate her business plan and put somebody else in charge when she goes on maternity leave because leaving Pam in charge will be one of the biggest mistakes of her life. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video.